This week's Torah portion opens with one of my favorite Rashi teachings, and I want to read it to you. Rashi, of course, a medieval commentator living in France, um, passed away in 1105, so this is an ancient teaching of our people. The verse is, Vayetze Yaakov mebe'ashava ve'yele harana. Jacob left Beersheba and went to Haran. And Rashi points out that there's no reason for the Torah to say that he left Beersheba. What's the point? All we need to know for the purposes of the story is that he went to Haran. But, says Rashi, the reason that we have the first part of that verse is that when a righteous person leaves a city, there's an impression. He teaches that when the righteous person is within the city, the righteous person is its glory and its light and its splendor. And when the righteous person leaves, then the city is bereft of all of those things and it feels the gap where the person has been. We're coming up to the season of Thanksgiving and also the season of Hanukkah and this teaching makes a great impression on me this year as I think of the righteous who have left our community and the families who are mourning them. It's particularly at the times of greatest family getting together and family joy that we most acutely feel the absence of those we've loved, the ones who have left the world. When Jacob leaves Haran, he goes on to have that wonderful dream of the heavens opening. And after the season of Thanksgiving, at least in our calendar, comes the season of Hanukkah. My hope as we read this Torah portion this week and think of the righteous who have left us and the gap that they have left behind, that we know that the light that they left still remains in the world and will be revealed to us soon. That was your Torah in two.